So ladies and gentlemen, I go by the name The Chief. <laughs> Call me Chief J, baby. Okay. Truth is, I don't <laughs> I don't know what we're going to meet this morning, but I feel like I want to talk to somebody. I don't know who I want to talk to. I don't know who this video is for. But I just want to talk to somebody this morning. So basically, a lot of times when you look out on life or you look on social media, it feels like you are not getting anywhere. It feels like life is just moving and you're not on a train. You're not, you're not anywhere. You're just there, you know, you're just there. It feels like you're missing out on a lot of things in life, especially when growing up, you set some goals for your life using um, age boundaries, like by the time I am 15, I should be done with secondary school, by the time I'm 20, I should be done with university, at 21, I should be done with NYSC, 22, I should be going for masters, and then probably 25, I should be talking about, well, I should already have a, had a job, you know, um, probably got my first car, thinking of building my first house and stuff like that, but truth be told, life happens, you planned god plans then life plans i mean beginning this year so many of us never knew things were going to turn out like this we did not know that this is, that the pandemic will make us stay at home and many of us had plans for what we wanted to do during that time and then well life happened so a lot of these things that are happening right now in the world in general are actually affecting a lot of us and truth be told it might not be financially, it might be mentally, it might be in your academic life, it might be... I don't know how it's affecting you really. And what even makes it worse, I mean, the icing on the cake is, in this country, in Nigeria to be precise, every time when you look at the news or when you go on social media or when you... When you look at the news basically, you always find there's either a, a case of sexual harassment or someone got killed or police brutality or something something one kind of violence or the other and truth be told it has actually affected everybody one way or the other all of this and everything that is happening you are what matters like you're what matters most and if you can handle this as a person chances are you'll be able to handle so many things so definitely keep on watching to let go of things that you cannot control there are a lot of things that we can't control many people are living with regrets of if I had known I would have done this better if I had known I would have changed this or I would have taken this action I wouldn't have resulted in what I am today I wouldn't have been where I am today but you are where you are today because of the actions that you've taken and one way or the other these things have actually shaped you into the human being that you are you have become this person, this kind of person with this kind of experience and that experience is one thing that you can't buy anywhere so it's very important that you let go of things that you can't control starting out this year we all had high expectations and high hopes and everything but we couldn't tell that this year was going to bring the quarantine period and the stay at home we couldn't tell that things that are happening right now are going to happen this year and to be a very wonderful thing for you to understand as a person that you you can make people understand you you can make people come and see from your point of view meaning you should actually stop trying to explain yourself to people who have made up their mind on their opinions about you there are some people that you cannot explain anything to they've already decided that this is your kind of person this is who you are this is this and this is that you meet those kind of people please just let them go you cannot change their opinions about you you cannot control how they feel about you I mean one of the things you can't control is how someone feels about you you cannot make someone love you or you cannot make someone have feelings for and you. the second is to keep your faith larger than your fears it is very necessary because you wake up every single day and if you're not waking up with hope in your heart if you're not waking up with faith in your heart man there is nothing fear and faith do not permit the heart of men to do and it is very important that for you wake up every day and you have faith it is very important now it might mean that you it might mean you listening to music it might mean you giving yourself a treat if the way you restore faith to yourself is just very different and it's very important that you wake up every day with faith whatever it is that you need to do 
which is right that is going to continue to keep the faith in your heart please go right ahead and do that it is very important don't be afraid to spend some time alone it's charged every single day so people spend so much time with their friends and with so many other people that they don't even know who they are and so these people are even defining them for themselves in the sense that you go out with someone and you're like oh please give me sprite they're like no your favorite drink is fanta now just take fanta fanta is what you drink you don't even know yourself anymore because you're always around people you're always sticking around people and then people are beginning to define you they're beginning to draw the lines for you in your own life you don't even know what your favorite color is until they tell you you're always wearing black or you're always wearing red i think red is your favorite color or at least that color is the most of what you have in your closet so it's very important you spend time alone by yourself you should be able to think you should be able to calm yourself down and think what do you intend to do next what do you intend to do best what do you think is going to work for you what kind of change do you think that if you implement in your life is going to bring out you as a better person it's going to improve you it's going to work for you and all of that of recharge refresh yourself think speak kindly to yourself and other people please do this every time when you wake up in yourself straight in the mirror or look yourself straight in the face and you say things like i am blessed i am highly favored it is well with me everything i lay my hands on will prosper lines are falling in pleasant places for me and if you're sick you can say things like i am healed by his stripes i am healed it is well with me how do i know Khaled is gonna sing when i hear something like we're the best music I mean every time he's about to sing something the first thing you hear is we're the best that is his slogan so it is very important that when you wake up every single day every day or every time when you catch yourself you can say good things to yourself like i am the best i am victorious speak kindly to yourself speak kindly to people around you it is very important don't be too harsh on yourself i mean life is already difficult as it is things are already bad as it is or some things are bad as they are already and the, the last thing you want to do is add yourself to that list every day every single day. speak kindly to yourself please yourself before you try to please other people the best way to make people choose you is to choose yourself if you don't put yourself first I don't know who's going to put you first there's something called the scale of numbers and on the scale of numbers number one comes first and number one is you you need to be able to put number one first. You need to be able to put you first. Make decisions for you, doll up for you, eat for you, go out for you, look good for you, speak well for you, smell nice for you. Everything you want to do, do it for yourself. Make yourself the main goal, the main reason why you do something, the priority behind everything, the person you want to please, the person you want to be with, the person you want to love. Make it yourself because if you can't put yourself first, how do you intend to put other people first? It's more like when you're trying to pour from an empty cup or when you're trying to give what you don't have. How possible is that? How does that even Stay work? from people who drain your energy. Many people are parasites, if I can say that. Many people are parasites. They just come and they're trying to eat off you and they're trying to drain you. And many people are manipulators. Like they try to manipulate you and someone said something. You are crazy when people cannot manipulate you. It's very important that you stay from people who drain your energy they take away from you they keep on taking from you they're never adding to you it's like when they need something you are their go-to person you are the one whom they come to you are the one who they this and you are the one whom they want that from but you're never getting anything from them someone said person will not show you road no suppose know your location and it's very it's very true people who are not helping you or people who are not adding anything to you they should not be getting so much from you. I mean, you should be able to cut some people away from yourself. Not everybody is important to you. Not everybody who is important to you actually has value to you. And that is very true. There are many people who you put as number one or number two on the scale. And when it comes to value or value addition to you as a person, they are at the bottom of the ladder. Stay away from those kind of people. It's very important. To stay away from those kind of people some people only ever come when they can get they only ever come for what they can get not for what they can give or not for what they can add please stay away from those kind of people and um don't do anything that doesn't feel right may your integrity never be tested don't do anything that doesn't feel right if it doesn't feel right because i know that there is this tiny voice there's this 
small voice that is always speaking on the inside of you that tells you this isn't right this you shouldn't be doing this this is wrong this is going to backfire this is that don't do anything that doesn't feel right if it doesn't feel right to you as a person chances are it's not going to feel right to other people do what is right at all times. ignore any opinion that does not enhance your life if it's not helping you it's taking away from you many people talk about constructive criticism but many a times that constructive criticism is actually destructive criticism disguised as constructive criticism many people just tell you that oh i want to help you you shouldn't be doing things like this but in essence basically they want to take away from you and they feel you're doing things better than them if the opinion is not helping you please their, their suggestion is not needed it's just an opinion it's not a priority it's not important that you listen to what everybody should be able to apply filter and save people the ones who are helping you and you know their, their opinions are actually for your best are the kind of people you should keep around you if their opinions are not helping you in any way trust me you do not need them Compare around you. yourself to people it is very very important avoid comparing yourself to other people and i say that because like i said at the beginning of this video many a times we set achievements for our life along with um age and all of that by this age i want to be that by that age i want to be that i want to have achieved this i want to have achieved that but a lot of times these things don't happen the way we want them to happen and then when you sit back and then you look at someone else who seems to have it all or someone else who seems to be achieving all of these things within a very short time very short span and everything it feels like you're not doing work you need to do better you need to push yourself out there and life actually is like an expressway on that express road you're going to see range rover bugatti maserati ferrari toyota honda hyundai any kind of car and then along with it you're going to see jalopy but the very truth is that they are all going to get to the same place even if it is at different times and there is no newcomer to success that's very honest truth when you make it in life you have made it there is no uh he's just coming he's new so he has to pay us respect or he has to revere us or give us some some accolades and something there's no newcomer to this game when you arrive You've arrived your journey is different your life is different there are so many people who they have so many things but they don't have so many things in the sense that you feel like financial wise or any other way you might not be doing so well but these people who actually have these things might not even be as inspired as you they might not be waking up every day in the morning to go out and to get things done like you they might not even be they might not even have as much vibe as you ha as you have to be told don't compare yourself with someone else what took someone two weeks to achieve might just take you one day and what takes you two days to achieve might just take another person five years so you need to know what works for you and you need to know that at the end of the day things are actually working in your favor and all of these things are going to do well for you don't compare yourself to anybody because if you look if you look at life basically in general there are a lot of things that people are doing on the social media in life in general fetish things bad things people are scamming people, people are duping people people are selling witchcraft people are doing different things just to make money and if these people actually begin to get to you before long you start to lose it and then you if you make that mistake of joining them You've actually done yourself one of the worst harms you can, you can do possibly to yourself like you've really you've outdone yourself or you've really done you've done yourself so it's very important that you don't compare it can be very difficult which is true it can be very difficult especially if you know that you need one or two things and it seem, you seem to be lacking faith that things are going to work out and they're going to turn out fine for you it might not be now might not be today might not be even tomorrow but it's very important that you know and you have faith in your mind that things are going to work out it's just like when you turn on a torchlight during the day it's going to shine and people are going to know that the light is bright but you see the time when it is needed which is in the night 
it will have died out it shined before its time and so it died before its time so you need to know that your journey is different yes the road is the same and you need to know where you're going it's very important you need to know where you're going in life because if you don't know where you're going people's opinions are going to take you in different directions and chances are you are going to miss where you're going or people will take you to where they are going if you don't know where you're going people are going to take you to where they are going so thank you for watching this video and thank you for looking at my face for this long so um if you have any video content you like me to film go right ahead and leave it in the comments i'll be very grateful for that don't forget to hit don't forget to like this video don't forget to subscribe if you haven't and yes that reminds me my name is jemima chukudi in case i did not say that from the jump my name is jemima chukudi okay so if this is your first time on this channel go right ahead and subscribe and if you're a returning subscriber thank you for always coming back and go ahead and check out any of these videos you love them i promise you you love them so see you in any of this bye